Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. If any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. How long have you been sober? A few days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? James, you know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. <laughs> I could use a little help! Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening! That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough You're this is You're not the only me? one feels pressure! The factory situation is serious, Anne! Real serious! Not right now! <sighs> not tonight. No way. Tanya's late. She always is these days. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? There's no need to be so tough on her. 
It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> Think she was a Marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. <sighs> hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! Sweetheart, I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. This sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. Keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Hey, Tanya. You up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know. Haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it. Sleeping Beauty wakes. Forget him. Find Megan. Relax. I'm on it. Do me a favor. Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Sure. No problem. Not another sound. Place is crazy enough without your two cents. It's all the noise about, anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. <laughs> Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. No, I 
get blamed for everything. It's not fair. Hey, Megan. What's up? Not listening. Hey, who are you talking to? To someone who actually cares about me. What are you talking about? What was that? You see that? Megan. Hey, Megan! Anthony, you there? Anthony, where the hell are you? Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me! You could be right about my family. I think so, too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan! Megan out!
gun. Mom, stop! None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. <sighs> Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. 
<clears throat> Fucking thing, useless piece of crap. May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Where's my phone? Hey, anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope, no sign of him. Weird, he isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Uh. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Wh who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, your college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us, it was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. That pylon has to be near a road. Probably the one back into town. Good to see you two. We finally made it. Everything okay? We're both good, but this gate is chained. We can't get through. Now what do we do? Look around, see if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan? 
heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'll be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. You get lost? No. We're back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa! Hey, careful! Watch out! Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. Right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped! We can't leave here! Now okay. what can we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no-hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. You can't understand this. Don't you get that yet? What I do understand is none of us would fucking be here if it wasn't for you. You think I'm to blame? I don't want to be stuck here with you either. Nice. You're the guy in charge. We're definitely fucked. Right now, the fog appears to be in charge. Anyone but you, right? Do us all a big favor and get lost in the fucking fog. I wish I could Please believe me. Stop. Fighting isn't going to help. Where do we go now? We're fucked. We're not getting out of here. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. I'm 
I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. Let her imagine whatever she wants. Probably drives her crazy. <laughs> I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. We standing here all night or we going inside? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, the show is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, Sorry too? for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. It's right there if you change your mind. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. There a phone in here? We can use a way of contacting the outside world. There's a phone, but it's been dead for years. You know, maybe there's still one working in town. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless, just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. You need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? Just a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double, or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. That is one hell of a shot. 
You did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. <sighs> Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Oh, booze gone in my head. You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Can you help us or not? Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> There's no goddamn us. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? Heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go? The way this fog just appears? It's not natural. Hey, can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You two, we need to stick close. Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Is that? Not a clue. <laughs> what is your name, sir? Who are you? <laughs> Pray, tell me your name, lady. Angela. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Play what with witch's me. trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see what you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Amen. Amen. Come back here. There's someone.
someone else out here, by the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell them what we saw. A little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. There's something up ahead! Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Hold up, I'll come with you. Want from me. Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait, don't go. Stay away. What the hell are you? What do you want? Look, it's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you, rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine.
Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never, ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with John. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. What out, Granny? No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out. Which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through, and you find help, send them into town to find us. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Hold up. You hear that? the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Great job. Glad you made it over. That was crazy back there. Sorry I took off like that. I'm more twitchy than I thought. Thanks for coming after me. Huh? <laughs> if you two wanted to be together, you should have just said so instead of just taking off like that. You're kidding. We couldn't stand to be away from you for a second longer. He's right. We were both freaking out because we thought whatever was back in that hut might have eaten you. I think that's very unlikely. The terrifying creature in the hut was in fact a cat. Let's carry on, shall we? This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Give me that. 
I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. <laughs> oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Piece of cake. You're up next. I wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. Are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. That didn't just happen. Quiet now. I will not be gone. What are you talking about? Get away, or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you're in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! Let go of her right now! What spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I have done nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth, one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. The place must have been a grocery store or something. Let's just find another way. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. Let me see if I can get this open.
Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. Will do. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, I'll look for another way around. You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Oh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about her. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver, the one now beating on our door. Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumors are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child, for sure, but this is beyond her. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You'll be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver, Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. Ben. You look freaked. What's up? 
You saw something else, right? You're not gonna believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. I figured Angela was just messed up with all that double stuff, but maybe not. <sighs> well, look-alike Angela was arrested. <sighs> she was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl, she gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. The woman, Amy, I guess she's in deep shit then. What do you think? Let's take a look around, see what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. This place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small town police stations all look the same. This could be our way out. Line's dead. Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. What is that? What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. I should not be here this day. I stand here falsely accused. I all that what I can you hear? I A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Not all here in Little Hope are willing for the truth to out. Okay. Cool it, will you please? I can help you out here, but before I can do that, you need to tell me where you are. Push harder. Find out what the fuck is going on. I'm on it. Tell me exactly where you are. Are, are, you, are you in town someplace? As I walked, a man and a woman appeared at my front. I had not seen them approach. I, I reached out in fear. I did not know them. Their clothes and manner of speaking were not familiar to me. They spoke of things that I could not make sense of. I swear I do not know where it came from or what this man wanted of me. I could not make sense of the things he spoke of. You must believe me, I beg you. <laughs> I'm so falsely accused of crime. Come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Well, now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time is gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. 
They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Push me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. We just uh, let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. I feel a chill in my bones. What manner of evil is this? The beast has his malevolent gaze upon us. His servant is among us. But the... stay out of this. The supposed evidence against me is little more than spiteful imaginings. If there be darkness here among us, I will shine. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt your doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. If I am correct, your touch will release her from this affliction. It must be so, if you are the one who bewitched her. I don't think I can take much more of this. I think it's almost over. They are here among us. They are here among us! No! What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge or by meddling liars like that little girl who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Come on, she's just some little kid who most likely doesn't get how big a deal the whole thing is. She knows exactly how serious it is. Either way, the woman on trial, Angela 2.0, she seemed like she saw us and so did some of the others. You're right about that. They definitely saw us. A little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere? Could easily believe that was witchcraft, especially back then. Dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid. I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happen to see each other. How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah, it was tough to watch for sure. Maybe you're freaked out because that woman looked so much like Angela. Of course, you can't see someone you recognize or think you recognize in a bad situation like that and not be affected. Thank you, John. I didn't know you cared. 
Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! We can't either! They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your devil, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior, is all play. There's a warrior in there. I can't see for shit. <laughs> Jesus! The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. Professor? You keep telling us you're in charge, so... Okay. Sure thing. Is it safe to cross? Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. Right, we'll... we'll get you over for sure. Can't stay here. In this year of our Lord, sixteen hundred and ninety two. We are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. I don't know how to help you. Tell me what I can do. Please, sir. You must help me. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. I 
Isaac. I am innocent. Feel the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Lil Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Lil Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, little hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reverence in your very fix. Isaac. What did you see? Tell me. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Give us a moment here, will ya? We've just gone through something pretty tough. Tough in what way? I need a moment. All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. anything like it. It was like something from a nightmare. Did you see the way it looked? The gaping mouth, those dead, soulless eyes? Whatever it was, it's gone now. I was nearly gone. If that thing had caught me, it was so close. You've had the crap scared out of you. We all have. But at least we got the fuck away from it. We did. Thank God we're all okay. Right now, we're safe. You are going to tell me right now what happened to my double on that bridge. You saw enough to work out the rest. Making me go through every tiny detail isn't gonna help us any. Either of you see what happened to Taylor and Daniel? 
They can't be far behind us. Let's just get out of here. Let's stay away from that bridge. I'm all for putting as much distance between us and that hideous thing as we can. Pretty sure Daniel and Taylor would be thinking the same thing. Out of sight, quick! Shit! You okay? Stupid old fool. Can I gotta get some peace around here? Best to keep out of his way, I reckon. We should talk about what the woman said before they drowned her. The little girl has to be stopped. Was she warning you or the people who were with her? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go. I'll go in and take a look around. How you doing? I'm wondering if that oh, thing could be coming after us. Don't think it's coming after us. What makes you so sure? You and me gotta stay real close now. When you say close, how close exactly? This close? A little closer. A little bit more. Let's get out of here. Daniel! Get your hands off us! Oh, wait. I'll pick you. Mary? Mary? Mary! I am over this way! Mary. The fountain of all evil is here. What? What evil? You know what's going on here? We sure as hell don't. You scared us half to death. You speak to me of death. This day, I have pulled my wife's body from a watery grave and buried her in the ground with my own hands. And all this because of her. Mary. Who in the hell are you? Why do you look just like John? I have no answers for you. Perhaps I'm already under a witch's spell. There it lies. I found it. How did you come by this? Fashioned with my own hand. I take it to protect you. Suspicion and betrayal walk side by side in Little Oak. No one is safe. Please, Tabitha, let me keep here. Nothing. No working phone anywhere. Okay, so it looks like we really are trapped here. Still no sign of them? Nope. Not yet. I just hope they're both okay. I figured we'd have found the bus driver by now. 
Wonder where he's at. Why can't you leave us alone? I think she wants us to go after her. You want to follow her? She could be leading us into danger, even a trap. The two girls we've seen. One is from the past. This one is from here and now. Maybe the girl we're seeing here is somehow a mirror image of the girl from the 17th century. Don't you want to wait for Daniel and Taylor? If they were coming this way, they'd be here by now. Stay loose. Who knows what's up ahead? Hey, wait for us! Shoo! Ugh! Disgusting! Guys? You there? Angela, shit, no! What did she do to deserve that? It's just you and me now. Until Taylor and Daniel get to us. Hey! There's something blocking the door. Give me a hand, will ya? This place is a museum of some kind. She in there? Relax. This doesn't feel right. Stay focused. We're not having a rerun of what just happened to Angela. You sure about that? I'll do whatever it takes to keep us both safe. Once we're out of here, we'll hook up with the others. Where'd that little girl get to? She let us in here and then disappeared. Maybe that was her plan all along. I'm not sure about that. Almost out of juice. No signal out here anyway. All right. Ten bucks says no one's home. I'm not touching that. Still, 
First place we've seen in a while. Find a way in? Like you found a way into that store? You a burglar in your spare time? <laughs> no. But I was in a past life. <laughs> Don't think anyone's visited for a long time. Oh, yeah. And that's ten bucks you owe me. Don't owe you squat. I never took the uh, bet. Fair enough. It's loose. I can jimmy this open, no problem. We could have a big powwow about who goes in first, but we both know what's gonna happen. Right. Sure thing. Oh, what the? What? That's... Oh, shit. Easy now, tough guy. Don't beat up the scary doll. Funny. Get your ass in here. Come on, this way. These things look so real. They're freaking me out. What's up? I just, I just saw something. Where the hell are you going? You sure this is a good move? Nope. <gasps> that you? Taylor? I must to help you no more. Just decide your false idol and go to the one almighty lord of the people. Taylor! You okay? What's going on? Come on! What happened? I heard voices. I saw my fucking self looking back at me, dressed all weird, speaking funny. I mean, what the fuck? Sorry I wasn't there for you. I... This woman, the one who looked like me, they just dragged her out like some kind of criminal. I mean, shit. <sighs> Let's get out of here. I hear that. Come on, this way up. Looks like we've locked out here. Back on the road. The professor and the others can't be far. Hope you're right. We've been shit out of luck so far tonight. What's that? Get over here! impossible. I know those markings. This is my old tire swing. Look, here, see? Hey, hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. You don't get it. See these stars? I painted them onto this tire with my dad when I was 10 years old. You sure? Hell yes, I'm sure. This is my tire swing. How come it's out here? Can't be just looks the same. It's just a coincidence. Can you listen to what I'm saying here? This town knows me. Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. We're getting through this, okay? Together. This is not my doing. You must help me. I beg you. 
please help me before it is too late. Hush now, woman. Only the Almighty can forgive your sin. That is your only hope of salvation. Listen to me. I have committed no sin. The puppet I am condemned for is a child's plaything. Nothing more. I swear it. Do not swear it. me. The sickness you brought into our midst must be purged. To free all of us and you from evil. You must burn. I beg you, stop. Do not do this. No, no, please, no. Take the soul of this, our sister Tabitha, who has been led astray by the devil, and do with it as you will. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. Thanks. I'm glad you're here. Let's keep on going to the church. That's likely where the rest are. Yeah, sure, I guess. Feels like we're being followed. We are being followed. Hey! Get the fuck out of here! Back the fuck off, will you? <gasps> Oh crap, what the fuck is that? Come on. Angela. 
She didn't make it. Nothing we could do. You're kidding me. No, and we have to keep that thing outside, or we'll be joining her. Fuck. Look for ways in and out of here. Close them all off. Oh, shit! Come on, we need a barricade here! Come on! Hey! Hey! Why the hell is that old fool still out there? Looks like he's following us. Whatever he's up to, we can't trust I him. I know you're inside! What in God's name is he up to? He's gonna lead that thing straight to us. He doesn't get how much trouble we're in here. What the hell is going on in there? You need to get away from here. Go before it's too late. Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in. Maybe he can help us out. This is a really bad idea. What exactly is going on here? Something came after us. That it thing was... was straight out of a nightmare or a horror movie. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, you bang your head tonight? You gotta help us. Please, we're all out of options here. I feel like I'm never gonna get out of this town. You and me both, man. I'll go get help. <clears throat> Fucking waste of time. <clears throat> out there it's doing with us why are these things whatever the hell they are coming after us i wish i knew maybe then we'd know how to stop them professor andrew it's me i'm next Priest, reverend, whatever, made accusations against my double. It sounded serious. Another trial? Not this time. It sure looked like it was heading that way. And the girl? Mary? Yeah. She was there, all right. We secure in here? You find any other ways in? Sorry, Professor, I didn't check. thing is still out there. Look over there. We have to follow her. Whoever she is, she's tied up in everything that's happened here. What if you're right? What then? If we can stop her, it could prevent any more harm happening to our doubles. Okay. Guard the door in case that thing comes back. Hey, kid. You out here? It me to say these words, but your punishment today will protect us all. Keep our town safe. Can you spare him? I beg you. This is hard for you, child. But one day you will understand and you will thank me. Go from this place, Mary. Your pleas cannot reach him. My fate is not a memory you should carry. He will be my keeper if you are gone. Judge Wyman has instructed Abraham. He will be your keeper. A decision not all are in agreement with. 
Every man will face his day of judgment. Yours is today. No! No! Look, child. See who you would have me spare. See, he is no longer of this earth. Only the damned and the devil can resist in this way. He was right here. I was holding him. He was right there. Nothing I could do. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. I, I know how much it messed me up. Fucking witch trials! What's wrong with these people? They killed that guy for no reason. I'm sorry, this is fucked up. Now we know the pattern. Angela was killed after seeing her double executed. Taylor had a narrow escape from that thing. You see your double get it? And you're next. That's real reassuring. Thanks for sharing. Isn't it better to know what's gonna happen to you? We can't let it trap us up here. What do we do now with that thing outside? Quiet. It's out there. Listen. It's out there for now. What if it decides to come in after us? Maybe we're okay if we stay inside the church. Because? Because it's holy ground. A church? Maybe it can't come really? in. Really? It's a fucking vampire now? I'm just saying, this is a solid building. He's right. We're safer in here. We're staying put. That thing is hunting me just like before. It wants me. You don't get what we're dealing with. That thing out there is something fucking else. We got to get away from it. Right? She's right, we need to split. We stay here and it's snack time for that thing. Whatever we do, we stick together. Remember what happened to Angela. Okay, let's do this. We're going out the back. Amen to that. What the hell is that? Another good reason to split. Let's go. Maybe those things have gone? Looks clear. Stay close.
protect us! We gotta do something now. Hold on! We need to be calm. Fuck calm! Taylor's in trouble! I thought I'd lost you. We're still in big trouble here. I need a break. We gotta keep moving. Can't stop. No, wait. He needs a break. Forget it. Those things are coming after us, not you. We can't hang around. I keep telling you, stick together. And we'll be fine. Fine like Angela, right? All right. What's our next move? I'm not sure. We should rest here for a while. You asleep? That's impressive. I wish. No way I could get any shut-eye after what went down tonight. Would love to, though. I'm beat. Any ideas how we're getting out of here? Listen. It's clear now. There's no help available. We're on our own. Sure seems that way. Our best shot. Maybe our only shot is to stop that girl, Mary. Getting to Mary, stopping her might help. Sure, okay, but what about the other kid? The one that keeps running from us? Mary and her are connected somehow, I'm sure of it. Maybe the other girl is trying to lead us somewhere. Where? I don't know. Maybe to a place we can stop all this. Everything feels out of control. I don't think there's anything we can do at this point. Mary's the key to everything that's happened. The trials, the executions. Sure, but how are we supposed to stop her? Not even sure she's real. <laughs> Too late for us to do anything now. Fat it. This is over. We have to try. We owe it to the others. And ourselves. Mary's the key to this. I'm certain of it. It's not that simple. And like you said, she's just a kid. We can't... Listen to me. We see her again. We do whatever is necessary. <laughs> What's that? Shh, shh. Hell no. That thing is back to finish me off. Get down. Take cover. It's heading straight for us. Keep quiet. Angela! Easy, Tiger. I'm a little tender. I thought you were... gone. How in the hell did you find us? We thought... you know. We're all glad you made it. Stop it. You're gonna make me blush. But thank you. No one messes with you. For sure. You are one tough lady. So the whole crew is back together. You rounded everyone up. Good job. Mm, not quite. They found us. Right now, our priority is getting you safe. Let's go. We've come across more of those things since you left us. The 
thing that chased after me was horrendous. Now you're telling me there's more of them? What in God's name are they? You okay without your glasses? I most certainly am. There is plenty here I don't want to see. You lost your glasses, but not your sense of humor. Good. You hear that? I heard it. Sounded close, too. Just gotta keep moving. Let me help you down. Professor? Angela, you there? Daniel? Taylor? <laughs> Guys! you How we got out of there in one piece, I'll never know. Hold the celebrations. We're still cornered in shithole central. And the fucking mutants are still out there. We gotta keep moving. <gasps> this may sound crazy, but... What if saving our doubles from execution is how we save ourselves? I was only hunted after my double was killed. Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. Save me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all, that you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. 
Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Your suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I am not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did, like your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. That's way off. We gotta stop the kid. No other way to do this. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. Bad move there, man. Standing up for the kid is probably gonna do us all in. I hope you're wrong. For all our sakes. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No. Nope. We never even saw her. Fuck. We met up with Andrew's double, Abraham. He was thinking about testifying against Mary, but good boy Andrew talked him out of it. That was a smart move. Are you fucking kidding me? We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds How you of doing? years ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. One thing That's I didn't reason. see coming, well, I feel like one of the team. Have makes no sense. I'm good with that. At all. Never happens to me. Yeah, I hear that. Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame it had to be from witches and ghosts. We could have used one of those, uh, what do you call it? A paladin, a holy warrior. <laughs> holy shit. I never had you down as a game geek. There's a lot more about me you don't know. I'm full of surprises. You'll see. We need to get moving. Fuck this place and this stupid ass crash that got us here.
Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. What happened back there with that thing? Whatever it was, it's gone, and it ain't coming back. I really hope you're right. Only a matter of time before they come after us again. That's a pretty negative outlook you got there. There's got to be a way of stopping the girl. We might have already missed a chance to change things. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Let's take a look. Check this out. Hey! That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. Well, no one's been here for a long time. Now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? This is tough. I get that. It would be for anyone. Mary... is just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her, stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down.
Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! So what happens now? This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. What do you think? Is he right about this? It went down just like he said. What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. You hear that? Right below us. We need to find a way out of here, now. That's heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. What's up? You take that side, I'll take this side. We push together, right? Good. Now, push! Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah! Daniel? You okay? Let's go before anything else happens. See Daniel out here? No. He's not here yet. Okay, let's keep going. Daniel will be okay. He'll catch us up. Daniel? Where are you, buddy? Andrew! Hey! You guys! I'm up here! Boy, am I happy to see you. At least I'm not the only one damp and disheveled. Oh my god. Thought I'd lost you. Can't get rid of me that easy.
You see that? Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. No one in the hole is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Lord, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? No sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I'm always infected with madness. Roy, you my six servants. We have to stop this. Come on, help me. Look. There can be no more doubting. This is witchcraft. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little orb rests in your hands. What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? John! What are you doing? I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move!
Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. Where in God's name are we now? Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. Something isn't right is this shitty town's motto. the girl. Let's go find her. She's in here. What the hell? Stay here. going on? He knows I was about to confess all to the judge. No, wait. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar! Now this tainted child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. This is crazy. These people have lost their freaking minds. It was never my intention to bring up to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child now. of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I belongs to Mary and Mary alone, and it is the devil. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his doing. You'll not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. You're messing this up. Carver isn't the one you should be calling out. What must I do to bring Little Hope back into the light? I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. 
You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing! The devil's daughter has deceived you all! Not me! I see her! I see her! Satan's whore! You will pay heavily for your crimes! I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you. I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. But I didn't save you. You did it. It worked. It did? 100% you made the right call. That jerk of a priest was the real bad guy. Sure, yeah. I mean, I should feel great. Uh, but I don't. I, I, I feel nothing. Come on. Let's get out of here. You look pleased. What just happened? We're all done here. I'm real sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. How fucking great does this feel? Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm so happy we all made it out of here. But? My ass is so getting fired tomorrow. So? What's the deal now, T? I don't know, D. But stick around. Let's see what happens. I'm real sorry for what I've put you all through. That's gonna haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on We've yourself. We've all been through you hell, that, right? Finally but getting out of this hell. Blame yourself. <laughs> gotcha. I just wish we all could have made it. traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. 
I doubt a short delay will trouble him too much. Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciated. There's no goddamn us. in there get the hell out of here I'll go once I look you in the eye now let me in hey I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in Spare me 
over for another year.